I want to take you on a journey to discover a part of Sardinia that you may not find in holiday brochures. The beauty, the people, and of course the food. This is my Sardinia. Two hours south of Villa da Campo, you will find Oliena, which is one of the villages in the center of Sardinia where you will find a high concentration of people who live to 100 years old. There are only five of these so-called blue zones across the globe, and we are lucky enough to have one of them right here. So I'm meeting the man who put Sardinia on the map. Why is it called blue zone? We had the blue markers more than 20 years ago, and I uh, mark with blue dots a map of Sardinia when I found a, a village with a high number of centenarians. Wait a second, so if you had a pink marker, this would have been called the pink zone. Exactly. So what is the diet of the local people here? A typical Mediterranean diet plus a high intake of cheese, especially from uh, uh, goats and uh, meat as well. Is there any specific drink that they yeah, This is very important because the local wine, the Canonao, very famous, red wine is, uh, is very good for your health because it's rich in antioxidants uh, who protect your arteries. Uh. So if people eat more Italian food, they will live longer? Definitely Italian food. I said it, I've been saying this for 25 years. Italian food is the secret of living longer. See, they don't listen to me. We may say that the Mediterranean diet. No, no, stick with Italian. Don't tell yes, them Mediterranean okay. because Ita otherwise they're going to say Spanish food. No, they're going to look Greek longer. also. No, no. Italians <laughs> is better. Italians is better. It's clear that the locals have mastered the secret of longevity. Now, you could say that there is something in the water. I say there is something in the wine. And that's exactly where I'm heading to the Cantina Pudu Vineyard who produce the local people of choice, Cannonau wine. Nina has told me that they have the ideal growing conditions in this area, allowing the Cannonau grapes to flourish like nowhere else. Rich in antioxidants, her wine is made without preservatives and plays a big part in the local diet. So this is a, an old uh, kind of way of... <laughs> Mind my shoes! <laughs> This is an old way to pour Cannonau wine. Come si chiama this? Ruffiana. And this, uh, this stick is called Ruffiana. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a very traditional way to let people taste the wine. So I've just asked Nina, is it true that the more wine you drink, the longer you're gonna live? Sì, 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 sì. Quando bevi bene, eh, diciamo che un bicchiere, due bicchieri al giorno fanno... Ma, ma solo sì. se il vino è buono? Se il vino è buono. Ok, she said, it is true, but only if the wine is good, but no more than two or three glasses a day. Solo se... due o tre bicchieri. Se è cannonau, anche di più. <laughs> se è cannonau, if it's cannonau, your bottle is ok. Da, una bottiglia di cannonau non fa male a nessuno. Salute. Salute. Porti il vino e io faccio la cucina. So I say, now we go the wine, I'm going to cook and she can try my food. Andiamo? Let's go. Finally, I'm in this beautiful vineyard, right in the middle of the blue zone. What an amazing place to cook. And I'm going to cook lamb cutlets, which I'm going to prepare with mint sauce and Sardinian honey. Then I'm going to serve it with sweet peas and pancetta with a little touch of garlic, a bit of thyme. It's going to be fantastic. The pancetta goes in. We're going to put a little bit of thyme. Now, let's talk about the lamb. Look what I got here. Beautiful lamb cutlets. I'm going to grill them. But before I grill them, I'm going to marinate them. And how we marinate them? Easy. Mint sauce. Then I put a little bit of honey. This is going to be fantastic because, again, you're going to get the sweet from the mint sauce and the honey. A good sprinkle of salt. Now is the time to add the peas here. And also what I'm going to do, I got some garlic here. I'm just going to leave them touching the pan just to release a little bit of flavor of the garlic. Hot griddle on pan, very, very important. You can do this on the barbecue as well. So, look. This is the sound of real cooking. Do remember, we want this medium rare, so we are looking at 30 to 40 seconds on each side. I'm gonna wash my hand, so please excuse. Beep. Thank you. 
Look at that. Come on. Come on. Look at the color. See, that's what you want. Beautiful, shiny, fast cooking, very hot griddle pan, and the job is done. OK, time to plate up. Just right at the end, just a little drizzle of sardine and honey. Huh? Awesome. As they say in Sardinian, Acantanos. Acantanos, which means I wish you over 100 years of life. Salute. Acantanos.